Welcome everyone. We're back in the wood hole. All the snow's gone. It all melted off. That's alright though. We're gonna get another balsam today and haul it down to uh down to Mama Taz's dad. Down to the father in law's. Yep. He needs some spirit firewood, so we're gonna get him some. We're running the Husky 61 today, 28 inch bar, full house, hand file. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Hope it was fun for you.
sweet with that hat with that full wrap handle on it just a 50 cc saw 24 that's 24 inch bar again skip tooth oregon hand file that I, I don't see nothing wrong with that i mean sure it's not you know it's not super fast but it's fast enough and it's super light super light gosh that thing works great <coughs> and if the logs right you saw it just standing up and just going after it. <laughs> I love that thing. <laughs> that is a dandy load of, of balsam. Buckskin balsam. <laughs> You're gonna like that. Nice big old season cracks in it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Jay won't have no trouble. He won't have any trouble splitting that for sure. Awesome. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I know I say it all the time, but I, I really mean it. And new subscribers coming in, you know, I, I just, I don't know. It's awesome. It, and it's so much fun communicating with, with everybody and just having a good time. Oh my goodness sakes, I see another big old dug fur up there. There's, from right here, I can see one, two, three, four Douglas fur that are 25, 24 or better on the stump from right here. And there's, there's another dead balsam up there. They're, they're just everywhere. They are everywhere. There's a little one right there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy. So, anybody that's wondering, or if anybody's wondering out there that, that chooses to watch this video, clear to the end to this part. <laughs> um, if you're wondering if a 350 will run a 24-inch bar, you be the judge. To me. Yeah, if I put the 20 inch 325 on here, it doesn't have as super a high RPMs. But you know, just you just gotta when you got the right wood for it and the right size of wood. I'm not saying go cut, you know, whatever, whatever, however much bar you got. I'm not saying go bury it to the dogs and just hog on it. You know, it's not gonna do that. If it's you know maybe if it's ported or whatever, but this one stock won't it won't do that but you saw it standing up and just bucking away and having a you know not fighting it not 
not none of this business just smooth you know not a lot of pressure just learn you know learn your filing get your filing down and start trying and you know and, and if you're wondering try it you know just just try it if you got an old 24 inch bar figure out how to get it on there this is the d176 mount which is for this saw and it'll also fit on the home lights and the mcculloch's anything with those small bar studs um this bar this bar will work on it you might have to do a little bit of modifying for the mcculloch's but whatever anyway back to what i'm saying if you're wondering my opinion is that works it doesn't overheat the saw it's not running it to death it just works nice and it's super lightweight and now with that you know with that full wrap panel on there i mean that look at that little thing i'm gonna weigh it and i'll weigh it and see how much it weighs but i mean for small falling smaller trees this would be a dandy look at that isn't that just the coolest little wrap handle I am jacked up about that. I don't know what it is about full wrap handles. I've always, I've always had a thing for them. And here lately, you know, and this one is off the 357, 359 model. A little bit of modification, you know, like I said in one of my previous videos, I had to do this, you know. This is the, this is the normal hole, and this is the normal hole. But this one I had to put in there to fit the 350. This will go. This goes right on the 357 to 359, and I ground off the very bottom of the of the handle right under here, under this bolt, so it would fit in this groove in this L slot. So anyway, I hope you like it. <clears throat> hope you enjoy the show. Everybody, take care. Hey, I hope you're watching Josiah and Noah. Hey guys, I love it. I'm so glad that you're here and I'm so glad that your parents allow you to, to watch my channel and I'm glad that you enjoy it. So hey fellas, get outside. Get outside, do something. Do something good. Go pick up leaves, go rake somebody's yard, go, you know, help your, help your mom and dad, help them, please. Help them around the house, whether it's doing dishes or, or whatever. Get up, get up and, 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 and try to get outside, you know, when it's not bad weather. Go enjoy it. So, yeah, Josiah and Noah. Keep rocking. Keep rolling. All right, everybody. Tasman is rolling. There's one of the dead dug fir. You see the top? We'll go over to the top of this one. See that? The sun's kind of shining on it. It's red. Oh yeah. Next season, that thing is be will be in my wood pile. And hopefully you'll all be here to enjoy it and watch it come down and be processed into firewood. Look at the bark just fell right off of that. <laughs> That's awesome. Buckskin balsam. Gotta love it. Be kind. <laughs>